I did vote. It was my first time voting in a presidential election, but not my first time voting. I voted in this election, and it was my first time voting, and I voted mail-in to Illinois. This election seems at least to be something that's a little bit more popularized and that people are talking about. Um, and to have this as my first election that I'm voting in uh, is definitely, seems like a historical moment in, in many ways. Um, I just felt in this election particularly that my vote should go to the person who I believe will do the best for this country. Seeing like Donald Trump as president was not the greatest thing. I think like it's pretty obvious to all of us that like there's been a huge mishandling of the pandemic and also just like um, pretty polarizing rhetoric throughout the course of Donald Trump's presidency. I was definitely looking for like someone to unify the country and sort of um, like take different groups and like ideas into consideration in this election because I think over the past four years we've become so divided. One big part about being a president in your role is being a figurehead and, and what are the values that you openly um, display. Obviously number two would be um, actual political function. People aren't able to see eye to eye anymore. The past week I've been watching like different uh, like news networks coverage of the election just to see like what's happening. For my local races and for the propositions, I talked to people in my neighborhood. I looked at, you know, local um, news publishers recommendations. I looked at the EVP offices recommendations to see who to vote for and which propositions to vote for. And that kind of informed my research. The power to change this country is in your hands. This does not look like a second place finish. Yeah. Election day, Tuesday itself, personally I was like cramming studying for my economics midterm, but also sitting in an adjacent room to my dad and his partner who were watching the election and I was getting constant text messages on my computer like, you know, Biden up by this amount here, you know, Trump just took Florida and, and things like that. I was checking the news and refreshing the results and seeing how many votes were coming in from where all the time from Tuesday until today morning. I think it was like early Wednesday morning was when like it like became clear that Wisconsin and Michigan were gonna go for Biden. And then from that point forward, I think it was more just like things were gonna like go Biden's way. It was just like a matter of counting in time. So I was just super impatient for like three days in a row. The people of this nation have spoken. They've delivered us a clear victory, a convincing victory, a victory for we the people. I think it, it was what I expected for sure. Uh, I was like a little doubtful a few times that like I was gonna get surprised and Trump would get a second term. That it was what I expected like after Wednesday morning. I think we've already kind of started realizing this with the 2016 election was that there was a massive amount of non-college educated white people, uh, blue collar workers, um, especially in the Rust Belt, that were unhappy with the way the country was going and were neglected by the Democratic Party. I mean, if you look at Trump voting, even in this election, like, he, personally, I was thinking, there's no way people could vote for him because he's just, like, the epitome of, like, the bad guy in a Hollywood movie. Uh, and yet all of these people are voting for him. So clearly he struck a chord with a lot of individuals. Um, and I think discounting all Trump supporters as idiots or morons or unethical people um, is doing a disservice. With the Black Lives Matter movement, especially, you see a lot of growing unrest with, with people. So I think both sides are very unhappy. Um, I mean, I grew up, uh, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, so like a red state. So it's like I went to high school with like people from both sides, like the political spectrum. And it's like, I know, like, I understand like why some people feel the way they do. And it's like, I don't necessarily agree with them, but it's like, I can understand their viewpoint for why they feel that way. Good evening. I'd like to provide the American people with an update on our efforts to protect the integrity of our very important 2020 election. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. Supporters of President Donald Trump voiced their frustration late Wednesday with the ballot counting process outside the Maricopa County Elections Department. I'm like a little bit concerned about sort of the reaction of uh, different groups throughout the country, um, mostly like for people who are involved in the vote and like volunteers and that sort of thing. These people have put 
like a lot of effort and energy into like make sure that the the election goes well now their lives are being threatened which is like a scary thought the difference in votes in a lot of states is too wide for like a recount or anything like that to change the result of the election parties in general i don't think are going to go anywhere from a politics perspective I guess for like any candidate, it like just makes it easier that like you have like this party brand name associated with you as like an endorsement. You can rely on national funds and that sort of thing to help you out. I think sometimes it like hurts our democracy uh, as far as like, you know, maybe there's a candidate who wants to take like toe the line of going like more in one direction. I think we just have to do our best as like citizens to work within it and just like demand the change that we want from the parties um, that represent us. I think there's a few main problems with the country right now. I think the um, president-elect and the vice president-elect have a lot of work to be doing and they're inheriting a country that has, you know, lots of trouble uh, in general. The first thing is the pandemic. I think it's great that president-elect Biden is um, announcing a coronavirus task force on Monday and getting started with that immediately. Um, and then also after that is the economy and unemployment, both of which are doing really bad right now and the climate as well. I think Joe Biden's already announced that like on day one, he's gonna re-enter the Paris uh, climate agreement. So that's definitely like a good step in the right direction. So hopefully in the history books, it will say, uh, this is the beginning of a new era for the US. That we have our first black and Indian American vice president elect and that's it's so amazing to have someone who looks like me. You have protected the integrity of our democracy and to the American people who make up our beautiful country. Thank you for turning out in record numbers to make your voices heard. I just hope everybody uh, eventually accepts the decision. We can like reconnect and move forward as a country.